Good morning, it's Lady Antebellum here on Country Monday and it's 8-12. Welcome back. It's that time of year when extra calories lurk around every corner. Cookies at the office. I just brought cupcakes this morning. Sorry guys. Eggnog at your neighbors. Chocolates in your stocking. All those extras add up. And if you're like most Americans, You'll put on a few pounds uh, by New Year's. So how can you stay fit during the holidays and avoid those extra pounds? Well, Laura and Scott St. John from Pearl Street Fitness are here to answer our health questions. You guys look great. So we've Thank come you. to the right place, clearly. So what are your best tips for keeping the, that extra poundage off? Because it's what, like several pounds eight average, right? Eight to 12 right? pounds average as Americans here. Uh, eight yeah. to 12 pounds. Eight and then do people pounds. generally lose it by the... Well, when that's why everyone kind of has that in January. Mm -hmm. So our whole goal is to keep everybody surviving the holiday season now and being uh -huh. mindful now. So we have cold weather coming up this week, but you still need to get outside, right? The whole goal is to just not hibernate. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to go outside, you know, there's a lot of great outdoor activities in Colorado, but if you're going to go inside to make maximum use of the gym, and really you know, work on active metabolic training to really increase your metabolism. So just don't hibernate. Don't hibernate. And then what about what you eat? Well, that's also very important. I mean, again, during the holidays, we time to tend to uh, take this as an opportunity to kind of eat a little bit more. Um, again, what we're telling our our participants at our gyms is, you know, be a little more mindful of what you're putting into your mouth. Um, take, make sure you're getting plenty of protein throughout the day. Um, that'll help curb your appetite, give you that little extra incentive of, of full feeling. So when you're going to these holiday parties, you start to um, you start to feel full before you're actually full. And again, it's that mind trick that you want to pull on yourselves as well. And we're doing we're actually doing a little battle of the bulge contest throughout our gyms. <laughs> nice. Um, this, again, just to get people to be a little more. Um, self-conscious about or conscious about what you're actually putting into to your body these days okay especially this time and forming those good habits which sure. takes yeah. a little bit of time you got to give yourself the time to I do it. I kind of say the mantra that we like to follow is 85 percent healthy choices and 15 percent fun Absolutely. I'm motivated by the fun so you know when holiday parties and all kinds of stuff roll around I like to put that bucket in that category as far as let me focus on the fun but let me be mindful 85 percent of the time uh -huh. and don't starve yourself during the day knowing sure. you have those parties at night make sure you are eating five times a day yeah. so true so do you have a few moves for us sure absolutely okay. um, Laura's gonna actually do a couple of them here while I talk Great. about it again when it comes to the fitness you don't have to have a lot of time you don't have to have a lot of equipment we have some straight body weight exercises you can do, starting off with a simple squat position. Um, you can go into squat elbow fly. So Laura's just going to show us. This is going to really rev it up. She's just coming in and out here. Um, you're just going to bring those elbows together at the whole time, staying down into that squat position. This gets your heart rate up, gets your whole body moving. You can drop right down into here, go into a plank position, um, activating the core here, little leg swings. We're just going to go back and forth. Again, this is all core related. Going to work on those shoulders and chest, legs, thighs. Everything's involved in here. You can even throw in a quick little burp every once in a while we all love burpees oh, I mean, don't we, we all? all love burpees I know we do so up and down full push-up so there you go and then back right up um, there's a, again again multiple different things we can even go in from here we can go everyone we're in ski country right so we, we go side to side with our ski jumps side oh, I like to side that. yeah oh, absolutely yeah. I mean that makes it simple and then okay. again there's that same idea where you can then drop that right down into the plank position and do ski abs we call them so it's just knees to elbows just knee to opposite elbow again a lot involved here again it just goes to show you that you don't have to have all these latest tech um, gadgets you can just use your body and get a great workout in guys great job love it thank you so much you're welcome great tips and jen i know you love the burpees yeah oh yeah always burpees <laughs> you know it's yeah. yeah. virtual now for you <laughs> oh, the bur online. burpees yeah, are like really? a virtual yeah. workout as well yeah. cool mm -hmm. burpees are like the foam roller i have a love hate relationship <laughs> yeah, with exactly. both <laughs> you hate it while you're doing it but you love the results afterwards so i want to take it on